That's a zero there. Trying not to get my vehicle destroyed here. One enemy here. Thunderball Fist is a fun gun to use. Atlas reigns victorious. Join me, Vault Hunter. So, talk to Zero. You seek the highway. I will clear the path for you. Cool swords are handy. to Neon Arterial. So this Thunderball Fist does have a uh, alternate fire by the look of it. Oh no, maybe not actually. Hey, a badass. You ready to crack open that? No, it doesn't seem to. That's why I'm here. Yo, Ellie, we'd like to make it to the vault in one piece. What you got for me? Girl, I've been waiting for you to say something like that. Get ready for Project Number Eight. Hell yeah. Oh, Ellie, never change. You're driving. Need my hands free. Let's check the map here for any crew challenges we can do along the way. There's a little linear map here. So this might be just a little driving driving section. Just a linear little driving section. What's in here? Oh, that's just in there. Ellie's. Just to catch a ride, I think, yeah. That's all that is. This is a slow moving vehicle. Slow to accelerate. Classic. Hey super fan, what's the hurry? Going somewhere important? You wouldn't mind if I, I don't know, broadcast your location to every maniac on the planet? No? You sure? Cool, I was gonna do it anyway. Don't worry about her, we got this. Just like on Athenus, right? So this version of the Bandit Technical has got like a shotgun rather than a machine gun. very slow slow moving vehicle slow to accelerate slow to turn again let's just check for any oh this is still the same linear style map here oh actually there was there was a crew challenge all the way back here that I missed I'm gonna go back and pick it up I probably can't because I jumped down, so I'm going to have to 
have to get that crew challenge next time. I lost the car. Too busy looking at the map. Let's see where the closest, ca closest catcher ride is. It's probably all the way back by the look of it. I guess you can hijack these vehicles, can't you? I shoot the uh, pilot out of one of these vehicles. Not worth it if it's bothering trying to trying to get up from fight for your life here. Might be easier just to go and recall, recall, get another vehicle. Almost done. Someone's still shooting. Fanatic up here in a turret. here okay so there is another there's another tunnel to get back so even though I did drop off that <clears throat> that road there is another tunnel back up Did you struck another project DD? Yeah, so that's a catcher ride there. Getting close to a catcher ride now. Slide mechanic all that much. Try to hold on to this one. Actually, while I'm here, let's go and get this crew challenge, which was at the beginning of the map. We can access it. Pretty sure. Looks like we can. We can travel all the way back. There it is. Wish I could say finding that vault did some good for the people of Promethea. Now let's double check. There's no more. I don't think so. It looks like it's just that one. At first, it 
Might as well explore the sides of the map just in case that makes a difference as far as having the crew challenges appear on the map. So was there something I'm supposed to do here? Did you extract another project DD? I thought I just did that. having a look around the map, seeing what's here. Might as well look in this corner. I don't know if it actually matters as far as revealing the crew challenges or not, but I'll do it anyway. Seems like this map is pretty much just driving straight for the uh, for the mission objective. Okay, so there's a catcher right there as well. So I might not have had to have backtracked all that way. See if I do have to digistruct a different type of vehicle. Cyclone. So I digistruct this. So same digistruct another project DD. Which is what? I thought it was this this vehicle here. So what's a project DD? This one? No. I don't know if I've, this is a bug or not. This one? Quite sure what I'm supposed to do here. We did start off with a bandit technical here for the mission. Looks like we're supposed to go this way. Could be that when my vehicle got destroyed, it's kind of messed up the, uh, the mission a bit. Unless there's another way to get through here. I think this mission may be bugged out. I might have to restart this mission, I think. So if we... Maybe if we fast travel 
out of the map, come back on. Not sure if you can fast travel from within a vehicle or not. Let's have a look. Fast travel stations, technical. Okay, non-arterial. So if we just go back to Sanctuary for a second, not, I don't think we can fast travel inside a vehicle there. Let's just try bouncing back to this Sanctuary map and then back to the, the other one. And hopefully this will fix the problem. Now, if we go back to Neon Arterial here. Can we go to a catch a ride? No, we we'll probably have to just go back to the beginning. Now, hopefully we can progress with the story. I think they're just the uh, the mission triggers there got bugged out when my uh, when the vehicle got destroyed. So if I spawn a new vehicle, hopefully that'll get rid of rid of this uh, digistruct another project DD message. So I assume the bandit technical is the one we want. Not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do here. Did you strike another project DD? So we go to the station. So what is a project DD? That's just colors. Machine gun. Barrel launch. I don't think I have any upgrades here. Oh, we do have one. Stripped armor. Meat grinder. Hollow wheels. I guess this secondary one is better. Replace e-brake with hovering mode. Passenger seats. Okay, let's call that. I don't even know what uh, What hotkey is e-brake anyway? Let's have a look. Controls. Combat miscellaneous driving. E-brake is space. So if I do space. Okay, we've got like a back to the future style wheels that hover. Not sure what advantage this has exactly. Mostly cleared out, at least the vehicle enemies are. So 
So, how do we go? How do we get through here? I think this might be bugged. I assume you're supposed to be able to uh, de destruct a different type of vehicle here. Project DD vehicle. Can't seem to do it though. Let's just try quitting the game and starting again. Let's quit to the main menu, try this. See if we can reset the mission somehow here. Did you struck another project D D? I assume it's supposed to be one of these. Like the car I was originally sh driving had like a shotgun style secondary weapon. Not the one we need. Alright, I'm just going to try quitting the game entirely. Don't know if this is going to make a difference. But I don't think I'm spawning in with the right car, and I can't make it. So I'll just try reloading the game, see whether that fixes it. So it looks like when my car got destroyed, the uh, it messed up the mission. So I don't have the, re the right vehicle for the mission now. And I can't digestruct the right vehicle. See whether restarting the game fixes it. Because the car I originally started with looked like a Bandit Technical. It had the barrel launcher, but it did have a weird, like a shotgun style secondary weapon, not the uh, machine gun weapon that you have. Well, that I have with the bandit technical when I spawn one in. So hopefully this fixes the glitch if we just continue from here. So it originally says drive the project DD and then the, the mission objective switches to digistruct another project DD. So it's not this one. not this one either. Let me just uh, let me just do a web search here see if we can figure this out. See if there's a 
seeing if, if anybody else is having this particular problem and if there's a fix for it. So let me just have a look at this, what the mission says. Digistruct another project DD. See if anybody else is having the same problem I'm having. Digistruct project DD bug. Yeah, so someone is. Someone's having the same bug. So let me have a look at what other people are saying about it. So someone is saying, go up to the vehicle console thing, press respawn vehicle. Should respawn the mission vehicle. Someone's saying it's not working. Okay, so someone's saying the... Uh, Okay, so it gives you, a, you don't actually go into the, don't actually go into the cons, go into the, the main user interface here. Oh, I see. You says respawn vehicle, you. Okay, there we go. That's not very, not very intuitive at all. That's what the problem was. Instead of going into the main user interface there to respawn the vehicle, you just have to press U. A little bit confusing. Looks like I was not the only person confused by that. Drive Maya to the blast door. Okay, here we go. Oh, we have to park. We have to park specifically in this area. This vehicle's got this uh, shotgun style weapon along with the barrel launcher. Let's hit this jump here. So this is obviously just like a, a vehicle level where you're just driving along. That's why it's so linear. Destroy enemy vehicles, right. So let's just drive around here, destroy these vehicles, try to stay alive. <laughs> vehicles destroyed. Let's did you struck another vehicle, now we know how to do it. Sprint when you slide. Let's just check we're going. Oh, we're almost there. To go back this way. Oh, I just made it back here. Probably best to hang back a little bit. 
approach slower so we don't get swarmed by so many enemies. Can you destroy these mines? I don't think you can. You can destroy these turrets though. Try to avoid the mines, get these turrets. That would probably make it easier to destroy these vehicles if I'm taking out the turrets first. There's only one vehicle left. Get me close and I'll clear the way. All clear. Let's move. New parts unlocked. Haven't really bothered too much with uh, upgrading the parts for the vehicles. Might as, might as well have a look what we have next time. Ironclad shield, reactive master. I'll just keep using the purple class mods as I find them. Don't need either of those, but we can probably sell some of my some of our junk here. We have quite a bit of space, so it looks like we have cleared out the junk. We've got this Nagata now, which is quite a nice grenade. Let's throw that on. And we also have our new Cutsman too. So this is our old one. 59 damage. We've got a new Cutsman. Where's our new one? And also this particular Lucian's Call with the 1.5 weapon zoom, we can get rid of that one. We don't need both of these. I'll keep the five times weapon zoom, get rid of this one with the 1.5 weapon zoom. Here's our new cutsman here. That's doing a, a lot more damage, so let's play around with this thing. So this is a radioactive one instead of a flame one. That was very useful that cutsman, I was using that for many levels. Still alive. Lieberman knows. He knows. Eliza, got a tongue. Hurling a frag. Just like two a two or three round burst is enough to take these enemies down. Style phase lock. Two 
It does have a maximum range there, the Cutsman. Pretty powerful weapons these two, the Cutsman and this uh, Lucian's Core. Let's explore around here a little bit. See if we can find any any loot chests around here. Thought she was an enemy for a second there. I was about to shoot her. Or at least shoot at her. So it turns out that wasn't actually a bug with the car. It was just a kind of a vague, vague prompt at the catcher ride. Easy to miss. Seems most obvious that you would just go into the main catcher ride uh, user interface and then spawn the car from there. Not use a different hotkey for it. So we've got a level 23 calipine there. A couple of Jacob's weapons. Do I have room for these? I can pick them up. the map here. We got one crew challenge nearby. Might as well pick that one up. Easy to miss those crew challenges. They don't really stand out that much on the either on the mini map or the main map. They're kind of a dark green. So they're easy to miss. It would have been nicer if they had a higher contrast for the crew challenge symbols. Let's see what's up this ladder. Trinket there. Green Hyperion shotgun. Enter the Apollo station. Last stop, bitches! Welcome to Apollo. Goodness, what Atlas takes you farther than your dreams? Apollo station. This Lucian's call is certainly better. At longer ranges than the Cutsman. Better than that. My chili recipe dies with me. Come on. Nice that the boosters for the booster shield seem to last a long time as well. Borderlands 2, I don't think they last that long. Eventually they go away, disappear. That's a neat touch having the NPCs revive you. Badass. 
psycho. That's when it's good for those enemies that are rushing for melee attacks. That's when they're nice for the shielded nomad style enemies. Trace along the outside here, see if we find any interesting loot chests. dead end section here and then the main section here so I'm hoping there's going to be a loot chest in this dead end section and there is a off a green lead off launcher but it might be higher level than mine and we have a purple class mod dread deep well fast hands So let's drop some junk and we can pick it up. This is only level 17 now, so I can probably just drop this one. I'll mark it for sale. I never use this thing. I thought it might be useful to keep to have a healing shield, but I never use it. Use that trinket to free up some space. We can drop this grenade here. This Thunderfist is only 236 item score, but still very good. We can drop some of this stuff. Like these lower level shotguns, we can get rid of some of those. on this side, just a couple of cash registers. Interesting the bookshops around. In this futuristic setting with the uh, echo readers. You'd think everyone would just be reading books on echoes. Now we've completely explored that dead end area, we can continue forward. Apollyon Station, at the intersection of industry and transportation and luxury. It's a three-way intersection. Apollyon Station. Mally Wan shotguns, not a huge fan of those. All the Torg ones either, because they, the Torg weapons seem to be all semi-auto, which I don't really like. Just blast that subway car with your butt stink. <laughs> Stop! Stop it! <clears throat> Get your butt shined by our expert butt ballet. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll pick up that white gun just to sell. We've got some shops here we can sell off our stuff at. Now let's sell this stuff. This torque shotgun, get rid of that. This artisan class mod, don't need that. Maliwain shotguns, not a big fan of those anyway. We haven't even tried this pistol yet. Unending Magnificent. I'll just mark this as keep. We haven't tried this sniper out either. We'll keep that Hyperion, might be good to at least keep one, one shotgun. That's okay. We have a bunch of these snipers though. And a Dahl sniper. How does that green blood off launcher go against our current purple one? It's still doing less damage anyway. We'll keep the purple one. Sell the other one off. The Vanquisher here. And we have a Dahl sniper as well. We should go through these, these uh, Jacob snipers too. Don't really need this atomizer right now. We can get rid of that too. This unending magnificent might be good. Haven't tried it out yet. So many neat weapons to try out. Let's go ahead and sell this stuff. So we had 7,000. Now we're up to 15, so we pretty much doubled our money there, selling off that junk. What do the med shop... Oh, we already checked these, they didn't have anything interesting. So, good old Cutsman, that's worth keeping. Let's try out this particular... This guy. I don't think we've actually tried this weapon out yet. Okay, what does the description say for it? Has a second barrel that increases fire rate by 25%. 2.2 weapon zoom, highly effective versus flesh, so it's a flame weapon. We might as well play around with this thing. Might be fun to play around with. Pretty linear map here, we're just uh, following this linear ma map across. Looks like there's an enemy above. Pretty typical for those uh, those hatchet throws to do and do a lot of damage with the badasses. Difficult to make out the enemies here. Maybe not quite as powerful as my other legendaries, this pistol. Oh, this weapon, I remember this one. The large magazine capacity. Hundred and thirty-eight ammo capacity. I will. 
I'll just have a quick run around here, pick up some ammo. White class mod, another white class mod. Both siren ones. I'm not going to use any of these green things, but I can sell them at least. There's a crew challenge up ahead. Here it is. Ah. Wasn't even expecting there to be any trains around. While we're next to the shops here, we can go ahead and sell off another load of junk. Tiger class mod. These things look like, look like grenade mods. I thought these were, were grenade mods initially. This level 18 sniper has been superseded now, we can get rid of that. We'll keep this Hyperion shotgun. Don't really have a lot of shotguns around here. This atomizer, we've got some nice legendary pistols. We don't really need non-legendary non ones. Get rid of these things. We have some nice legendary SMGs as well. We don't need non-legendary ones. And we have a bunch of snipers too. We don't really need. There we go, up to 18,000. Actually, let's go and try out some of these snipers so we can clear up some space. So this one's 322 item score. These Jacobs ones are less because they're not elemental probably, but let's just try out this dial one. So we got uh, swaps between fully automatic semi-auto. What's the damage difference here? 199 to 276. Much lower fire rate for the Jacobs. This is doing 336 damage. Fire rate's much lower. So the Jacobs are doing a ton more damage, but we'll just try out this dial anyway. semi-auto which has a slightly bigger zoom but not really worth using might as well make use of my sniper ammo a little bit here just to see what it's like well still does uh, one hits kind of critical there now let's look over this train a little bit cheap just to have the train spawn as soon as you come into this area. Another clap trap. Ground beneath the crushing wheels of industry. Its back broken as it holds the weight of the world upon its shoulders. Oh, what can we steal from it? That's just lovely. A new antenna accessory for my new friend. Excellent. Some more white stuff to pick up. So those bodies with the crystals growing out of them reappeared. We saw those early on in the story. We haven't seen them for a while. Let's see what's up on this other upper level, maybe something. Hoping to find a loot chest in the corner here. There isn't one. Try this side. Yeah. <laughs> 
another echo log to listen to. I thought there was a green container there with a glowing green button on it. What was this? Kya? What was that? Guardians. They just have evolved to anyone crazy enough to open one. Isn't is this an enemy? I guess. Step on up, win a prize. Anyone else wanna try? Try I'll try to try out this to sniper a little bit more. So I can uh, holding on to like three or four snipers that I don't really need. So it looks like there's no yeah. going back. Keep dropping down further. Hang back a little bit, then I can at least pick up my uh, boosters. Can we interact with these things? No. Can't interact with those mushrooms. Like a loot chest. So that's it for here. And this is nothing. Can't interact with that little that little stone. Got a feel for this particular sniper, not bad. Let's try a different one. This is doing 276 damage. 336, 330. Fire rate. These are both muckamucks here. This has got a bit of reload speed. Accuracy, it's just to compare these two. Magazine size is a little bit better. That's, that'll probably be useful having that larger magazine size. That seems to be the better one and it's got the reload speed as well. So the 330 one's the better one there. We can go ahead and mark the other one as junk. Let's try this muckamuck. Were you even trying? These are just regular chests. They look like fancy loot chests, but they're not. They're just regular ones in this area. So surely there's something interesting in this little dead end. is just going up and down. I've located another cache. You know, I'm beginning to suspect that Typhon did know about the other vault on Promethea, but he kept this a secret. 
strange. I'll come back for that. Okay, well that's a pretty pretty big clue there that you can't do anything with these uh particular written writings. If the character's saying come back for it. I was wondering what you're supposed to do with those. Couldn't figure out how to interact with them. Blue Siren class mod there, probably won't use it. I'll stick to the purples. Okay, the ADS sensitivity is a little bit low. Currently at 5. Let's just put it back to 10, see what it's like. A little bit low at 5. Feels a little bit too fast. Let's try seven. Difficult to see where the head is there. are quite mobile they don't like taking cover and just staying in the same spot I think I'll probably stick with this Jacob sniper actually seems to be the best option does more damage so you're less less spammy with the sniper ammo sure these rising and falling blocks are going to play a part in some sort of a jumping puzzle later on. See where the head was there. There was always a problem with the old phaser lock animation. It was sometimes difficult to see where the head was because the phaser lock orb was like a very murky. Oh, the summoner. Seems like a boss type of guy. Pretty happy to keep this guy, the Muckamuck. And we can uh, get rid of this dial. If I want to use a faster firing, longer range weapon, this is actually pretty decent, this Lucian's call with the uh, 5x weapon zoom. So I can just use that if I want to have a faster firing one. So we don't need this particular calipine, get rid of that. 
we'll just keep the one sniper, don't need to keep any more. This is the best shotgun we currently have. This Hyperion. Oh, we have this one too. Let's just try out this particular legendary Maliwan shotgun. So we got... Uh, What's the deal with the... This can switch between Cryo and Incendiary. Okay, so it's like a burst fire. I don't hate that for shotguns actually. Unlocks and echo themes. We've got a skin there. It's through here. So this particular one here is uh, Trevenator. Trev's gonna get you. Weapon accuracy, 28% charge speed, plus 75 splash damage radius, and weapon zoom 1.5. Generally not a big fan of the Maliwain shotgun, so that's why I haven't really tried this one out, but this one seems to be okay. So I'll probably just keep this one as my shotgun, and we can retire that Hyperion one that I've been holding on to. Let's do that now, actually, before I forget. We don't need this uh, Hyperion shotgun. Let's retire that. And we have some junk here as well. This Atlas. This Vladov Sniper. Class mod we can't use. Skin. White Shield. Like we're on our own, Vault Hunter. You've got Money pounding longbow. Long Not really that interested in these in these um, money grenades. Kind of weird. High caliber contrarian shield. Absorb fleet power charge. Class mod we can't use. Let's go ahead and sell that junk we just marked off as junk. There we go. Yep, we're done here. So we've got quite a good collection of the legendaries now. Don't really need this either, this TDO. Might as well get rid of that. I never use this thing. Even though it's kind of nifty with the turret thing, but I never use it, so get rid of that too. And now we've got 28,000. So we can have to pay attention to the fact that there are alternate hotkeys here. Refill ammo with you and just a regular shop. So yeah, we've got some nice, got some nice legendary weapons now of all different types that are worth using. These are weird, these swirling energy balls. Oh, here we go. We have to go down this way. Sliding down, looks like a one-way trip. You brought me back. Imagine all right, so all we're in a vault. Lived out their lives on the surface above, never knowing they were standing this is exciting. on top of a vault. All through Borderlands, they're talking about vaults, and now we get to explore one. I 
But before we continue, I might just take a quick break and I'll be right back. 